Tell me about that moment when you found out you were the winner. Were you in complete shock? I actually was very shocked because uh, the whole time, uh, even myself, I predicted Billy to win. I really wanted Way to win. I voted for her 10 times. She's very sweet. She's very talented and she has a really wonderful family. And I just thought, well, she has a lot more ceiling than I have, you know? But yeah, so when I won, I was just completely, com completely caught off guard. But. And how about Blake? He bet that you wouldn't win because he didn't want to jinx it. Yeah, I don't, that's kind of a <laughs> weird way to do it, but if it worked, it'd get, you know, yeah. I guess it worked. But how has it been this season being able to work so closely with him and have him as your mentor? He's very sweet, you know, he's, he's a very nice guy. He has a lot of faith. When you see him on TV, you think he can't really be that cool and that nice. And then you meet him in person, it's, it's like Nickelodeon all day, you know. <laughs> what are you going to miss the most about him? I think mostly I'm just going to miss his bad jokes. He's got some really bad jokes. I think he told me probably 100 jokes, and one of them was really funny. You know, <laughs> The rest of them I just kind of laughed because I felt like obligated to laugh. Your family, they were all there for the finale. Are they back home already? They're, all, they're at the airport right now. They're heading back home. They're really, really excited. Uh, my son's really popular at school. He's getting all the girls right now. You know, When you're 10 years old, that whole thing's starting to change on the playground, you know? I asked him, hey, I said, so are you excited about this whole thing? He's like, yeah, Dad, I'm getting all the girls at school, you know? <laughs> it's like, well, hey, just focus on your schoolwork, you know what I mean? <laughs> Do you think you're going to get to work on your album right away, or are you going to give yourself a little bit of a break? Well, I mean, I'm constantly writing songs. I just never had the money to record them, so maybe the record label will give me some money. I was working on my third record. It was, it's called No Budget. We might be able to change the title of it now. I don't know. Big budget. That's what it should be called, right? <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> do you think you'll have a feature of maybe having Blake on? Oh, sure. I would love to do that, man. Maybe some features of your uh, competitors? <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, we've all become really close, and... Uh, I love all of the people that uh, I was with this summer and respect them so much and wish, th wish them the best. Yeah. You know, and who knows what's going to happen. I may never, you may never see me again. Who knows what happens to the winner of the voice, you know what I mean? But if for some reason I'm fortunate enough that the Lord would bless me, I'd do everything I could to help any one of those people to succeed in the business if I had that opportunity. You know what I'm going to miss about California is the weather. The weather's incredible. And all the people are... Uh, you know, people are kind of weird out here. Like back in Texas, you walk by someone on the street and you're like, hey, good morning, how you doing or whatever. You say hello to someone and they won't even look at you. It's like robots. What? It's kind of weird, man. All I can tell you uh, is spread a little bit of love, people. Hypothetically speaking, if Blake and Gwen were to, you know, maybe tie the knot someday and they asked you, would you sing at the wedding? Sure I would. And I already told Blake, it's cool if he wants to name his son Sundance. Hey, I think that they should do that. It's a great name. That's a great name. What's up, guys? I'm Juliana Rancic, and you are watching the Live from the Red Carpet YouTube channel. Subscribe today, then be sure to check out our other Live from the Red Carpet videos right here.